to episode 7 of Scrum Mastery Challenge. As you'll remember from last time, we've got a new leader again. Sam's back at the top all on his own, ahead of Christina, with Freya in third. And we're getting closer and closer to finding out who's going to be crowned the overall Scrum Mastery Challenge champion of 2018. This week, we've got another very different challenge, one that I've been excited about for a while. So, without any further ado, let's find out what's in store for our competitors this time. Okay. Make a stop motion video to demonstrate an aspect of agile delivery. You have one hour, your time starts now. What's a stop motion? I suppose there's a brief tutorial on, I mean, I'm assuming I just press, every time I press OK, it takes a, I see, I think, oh, I see, right. <laughs> so stop motion, cool. Or geeky, I suppose, depending on your point of view. But I'm keen to find out what they do. They've got one hour to design, prepare and shoot a two minute video that will demonstrate an aspect of Agile delivery. And it'll be interesting to see what they pick out. They've got some props, they've got some stationery, some materials, and more importantly, their imagination. But apart from that, they're on their own. What's more interesting is that none of them have any experience of stop motion, and a couple of them didn't even know what stop motion was. So, let's see how they got on. First up, it's Christina. Make a stop motion video to demonstrate an aspect of agile delivery. You have one hour, your time starts now. <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> oh, it's like being a kid again. Well, she clearly enjoyed herself. And she also clearly demonstrated an aspect of Agile delivery. One that I can certainly empathize with. And I'm sure most of you would have come across somebody with a big hairy backlog and a deadline once in a while. She demonstrated how to deal with it as well, by being tough with the product owner and encouraging them to ruthlessly prioritize down to an MVP or a minimum viable product so that we can get value quickly, but also get feedback quickly. I kind of want to know what happens next, but I guess we'll have to wait for the sequel to find out. Anyway, next up, it's Helen. Okay. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> What's a stop motion? I needed this. 
Yes. <laughs>
So, will this be the end of Paul's career? Did he make a bad analogy that will undermine his position as a thought leader in the Agile space forever? Personally, I don't think so. I think he did a good job. It was a clear message of iterative and incremental delivery. And the iterative aspect is something that a lot of people miss out on with Agile, in my opinion. They just focus on building on top of what they've done before. But a large aspect of Agile can be about pivoting taking that feedback from the customer and being prepared to evolve the design, the architecture, and even the solution to meet the customer needs better in the next iteration. It could be quite a brave thing to do, but I think it was clear in this video. For me at least, let's just hope the judges can follow the story as well. And I'm always a big fan of wordplay and the incremental Hulk was a touch of genius in my opinion. Next up, and finally, we have Sam. Right, what have we got here? Make a stop motion video to demonstrate aspects of agile delivery. You have one hour, your time starts now. I suppose there's a brief tutorial on, I mean, I'm assuming I just press, every time I press OK, it takes a, I see, I think, oh, I see, right. Throw it back in the box. <laughs> I did want to just tip this over the floor, but yeah. it would be a huge pain in the ass. Another example of iterative development there. As with Paul, the solution emerged to meet the customer needs based on the feedback. Although, I'm not really sure you could call that guy sitting on his butt the whole time being lazy an active engaged product owner. But I'll leave that to the judges to decide. And talking of judges, I'm glad I'm not the one making a decision. Because given an hour, I think they all did an amazing job. 
I can't really pull them apart myself. So let's find out what our international group of judges, Ashlyn, Howard and John, thought of our contestants' efforts and where they ranked them. This is for stop motion video judging. Um, out of the five contestants, my number five would be the incremental Hulk. Uh, without words, it was a little confusing over whose role was whom, who was the customer, and what was the person back and forth doing. Uh, but I love the Hulk. Um, new buggy for Billy. Uh, it was reminiscent of an assembly line instead of a collaborative work. Uh, so all of them weren't working on the buggy at the same time. It very much looked like a waterfall kind of an assembly line environment. Peppa's new house would be my number three. Uh, that final product didn't look anything like the other, but I love the creativity of that one. Um, my number two would be uh, Escape from Zombie Alien Apocalypse, mainly because the end of it wasn't a happy ending. I thought that was very, very good. Um, my favorite, though, has, has to be uh, Chewbacca's Big Hairy House. I'm a Star Wars nerd, so... Uh, I really like this one. I love the incremental approach to building Chewbacca's big, hairy house. Thanks. Um, well done to everybody uh, because they were all excellent. I know you had an hour for the challenge and I think everybody got across at least one agile concept in each of their videos. The one that I'm putting in first place is Chewbacca's big, hairy backlog because I thought it demonstrated most clearly um, a concept. So therefore the concept that it was focusing on was the importance of prioritization and identifying what is truly valuable for our customer. The video I'm putting in second would be Escape from the Alien Zombie Apocalypse. What I liked about this video is the feedback loops. So the importance of getting regular feedback, uh, the importance of getting a product that is fit for purpose. Um, and I really like the twist at the end where just by getting the feedback doesn't always nece uh, necessarily mean success. So other things can come um, that cause problems with our delivery. And then in third place, I'm putting Peppa's new house. Um, again, good video, uh, well, well executed. I think it covers really well the concepts of continuous integration making sure that things are actually working together rather than doing separate pieces. I also think that it works really well in, in demonstrating the fact that Agile is not about just putting any old thing out. Uh, so quality is an important aspect of it. So for me, in fifth place is Escape from the Zombie Alien Apocalypse. In fourth place, I've got a new buggy for Billy. So I like the aesthetics of this one, especially the random dog in the background. I like the fact that the product was apparently reviewed by its end user and also that the team had a retrospective at the end. But when the work was going on, it looked like the, there was a bit of a production line and very little collaboration. In third place, I've got Chewbacca's backlog. I like the fact there was a sudden change in requirements, um, very realistic with a really short deadline. And I really liked the dramatic music that accompanied that bombshell. Uh, it was good that the team asked the product owner to prioritize the backlog when that bombshell landed and, and ended up with a much shorter list. Um, I did feel like there was a missed opportunity though to remind the team that an unhappy Wookiee will pull people's arms out of their sockets. Um, in second place, I've got Incremental Hulk. So this one was really the wild card for me. I had absolutely no idea what was going on in this video. I don't know why there was a green block of plasticine which is knocked over by a little cart. I don't know why Susie Sheep then pushes the, that green block of plasticine out of the picture. And while I was wondering about all of that, I hardly noticed the team had built a skinny uh, prototype Hulk and then rapidly replaced that with a real sort of production ready Hulk. But I liked the fact it was bonkers uh, and so I put it in second place. The winner, for me, was Pepper's new house. So I really liked the quality of the stop motion in this one. I felt like it had a clear narrative and it flowed pretty well. It looked like everyone was collaborating and really working as a team. They learned from their first attempt, reflected on how they could do better. So there you go. Cheers, everyone. 
Well, there we go. So, when we add up all the points from the judges, this episode's winner is Christina and her big hairy backlog, followed by Freya and Pepper, then Sam's alien zombie apocalypse. And that means the leaderboard changes again. So Christina's back in the lead from Sam, with Freya close behind in third. There just aren't enough points left with only one episode to go for Helen or Paul to win, so it's out of Christina, Sam and Freya who will be crowned the champion in just two weeks' time in our final episode of the series. I say final, but I haven't forgotten about that mushroom challenge. So there will be one other episode, provided there are enough likes, that is. And if you're not going to go and like it to make me eat mushrooms, then do it for the charity. So we're nearly done. So all that's left is for me to say well done and thank you to our contestants. And also thank you to our judges, Howard, Ashlyn and John. And to get us to Dun Dun, the credits are coming up. And I hope you'll join me for the final episode of Scrum Mastery Challenge 2018, where we'll find out who will be our overall champion. Hi, and welcome to episode seven of Scrum Mastery. Okay, can you go back a tiny bit because I'm... Um... Welcome to episode 7 of Scrum Mastery Challenge. As you'll remember from last time, we've got another new leader again. Sam, closely followed by Lux. So, will this be the end of Paul's career? Has he come up with a bad analogy that just will undermine his... This is <laughs> <what? laughs> Cody! <laughs> uh, in shot? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> 